Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm great. Excited to be here. How was your day? Um, I go to the school. Okay. So you study? Do you study? Do you study? Are you a student? Is usted a student? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. What grade are you in? ¿En qué grado? Eh, tercer año bachillerato. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Okay. Ahí se dice eh, 12 high school. 12 high school. 12 high school. Eh, eso sería tercer año. Sí. Ah, okay. Es que tenemos ninth grade, noveno grado, ¿verdad? Y ya de ahí sería 10th high school, ya primer año de bachillerato, de, de bachillerato, ajá. 10th, 11th, ya es segundo, en 12th, ya es tercero. Oh. Uh -huh. Y ahí, yeah. ahí sí es high school, porque cuando es set, séptimo, octavo y noveno es junior high school. Y ya bachillerato son high school. Ok, thank you, Miss. 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 Ok. <ríe> ¿Qué opción está estudiando usted? Contaduría. Ah, great. Very good. Ok, Mister, vamos a esperar unos three more minutes para que se nos unan. And then we start. Ok, Miss. Una pregunta. ¿Es Mrs. o Miss? Miss. Miss. Mercedes. 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 Ok. 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 Great. Hello, Alma. Welcome. How are you today? Good night, teacher. And thank you. I am great. Okay, very good. How was your day? 
I was busy <laughs> and now I am making a dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can, uh, what is it? Turn, Turn on, on my camera. Yes, my camera. Okay, and what are you cooking? What? Um, <laughs> uh, beans and ham. Okay. Beans and ham. Very good. With yeah. eggs? Uh, no. Oh, no eggs. Yes, no, yesterday ate eggs. Um, okay, very good. Hello, Erika. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Nice. Okay, great. Nice to hear that. Okay, guys. Um, let's start. Let's see. Let's start the class. And tell me, what do you remember about our last session? What do you remember? Can you tell me? What do you remember about the last class? Hello? Hi. <laughs> Don't leave me alone. What do you remember about the last class? Acerca de la última clase. What do you remember? Nothing. Guys. Carlos, Alma, Erika. Are you there? Están ahí? <laughs> yes, but I couldn't be in the last class, teacher. Uh, you couldn't be in the last class. Carlos? Yes. Erika? Erika, what do you remember? ¿De qué se recuerda, Erika? Um, uh, vacation? Ah, okay. We were discussing about vacations. Yes. And that is what we are going to do today. We are going to continue. Vamos a continuar discussing about vacations. And we are going to learn the use of should. Vamos a aprender el uso de should para dar advices. Y también we are going to learn the use of infinitives. El uso de los infinitives after verbs, después de los verbs. Ya aprendimos los gerbrons, so today vamos a aprender el uso de los infinitives. Now, the first activity. You are going to sing a song. Vamos a empezar by singing a song. Ustedes van a cantar una parte de una song. And we are going to guess. Y nosotros vamos a adivinar what is that song. I will start, yo voy a iniciar. And you have to guess my song. Ustedes tienen que adivinar my song, ¿ok? Va. Listen. Um, we were gold. We were right. Can a dream that can be so. Mm -hmm. Flowers. What song is that? <laughs> ok, very good. Now, what, who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? ¿Quién quiere comenzar singing a song? And we are going to guess. Nosotros vamos a adivinar. Who? Miss, repeat, please. Okay. You have to sing, Mr. Carlos, you have to sing a song. Tiene que cantar el pedazo de una song. And we are going to guess what song is that. Y nosotros vamos a adivinar el name de la song. Okay. Vamos. Who wants to start? Erika, can you start? No, teacher. 
¿Mande? Todavía no. Mm. Eh, ¿Carlos? Tiene que ser en inglés. Yes, por lo menos un pedacito. Yes, of course. No. <risa> ¿Alma? Eh, give me a moment because I forgot the, the, the lyrics. Ok, Lia. Do you want to start, Lia? Hello, Lia. Here. Okay, voy a cantar el pedacito de otra song. Hi, sorry. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to sing? Quiere, quiere empezar usted singing? Eh, wait a minute. Wait va a cantar, minute. va a cantar el pedacito de una song, and we are okay. going to guess. Okay, excuse me. Wait a minute. I'm looking for a song. It's a great song. I can find the lyrics. Oh, excuse me. Okay, wait, okay. wait. Ahí está. Empiezo ya. Yes, of course. Start. Saying I love you. It's not the worst. It's more than worse. <laughs> Is that Leah? Is that the song more than words? Leah? Is that here? Okay. Yo, Let's yo, see. yo. Va, va. Go. Tal, tal vez tiene un poco. Okay. Pero me la pongo en, en segundo plano. Dice así, oh, pero yo nunca la he escuchado. Dice así. Okay. Hey, you don't my... Pero es que no, no, sé, no, sé, no sé cómo es la, el tono. Porque como nunca la he escuchado en inglés. You do it. We are going to guess. Ok. Dice. Hey, you don't mind but take a sad song and make it the better. Uh, remember to let her into to your head, then you can start to make it a better. Do you know this the song, guys? No. Digo de quién es. Ajá. Se llama. Hey, you, the, the Beatles. Ah, the Beatles. The Beatles. Okay, hey, you, se llama. Yes, yes. Okay, great, Mr. Carlos Alma. Ready? Okay. Um, I don't know the complete lyric teacher. But you can sing yes. a little bit, like me. Mm. <laughs> you can do a little bit. I don't like to sing in public. In public. <laughs> Let's do it. Mira que no la estamos viendo. Solo la estamos escuchando. Okay. <clears throat> but... I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't do. But I continue learning. And I never, I don't know what, what the rest. I never meant to do those things to you. <laughs> yes, is that, is that. <laughs> do you know, guys? The reason. The reason, yes. Yes. Very good. 
Now, Erika, it's your turn. I don't know, teacher. Whatever song, cualquier song. Ready? I don't have any song. Any song? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, thanks for the one who participated. Now let's move on to the next activity, guys. As I told you, today's class, vamos a continuar talking about vacations. And let's do the first activity. Okay, this is the first activity that we are going to do. You have to complete, vamos a completar hasta la number 10. You have to complete these questions with the words we have in the box, con las words que tenemos en este box. For example, number one, ¿cuál sería? What do you think it is in the number one? What? Ah, okay. What is the most interesting city to visit in your country? Yes, of course. Okay. I will send you a screen capture. Les voy a mandar una picture a WhatsApp. Y les voy a dar five minutes para que puedan encontrar las correct words and complete the questions, okay? Clear? Clear. Okay. Ahorita se las envío. And what's up? Hold on. Second. Wait a minute. Okay. ¿Les cayó ya? ¿Al WhatsApp group? No, no mis. Oh. Sí, sí, no se me ha reenviado aquí. Vale. Hoy creo que sí. Yes. Okay, great. You have five minutes to do it. Cinco minutos para encontrar las correct words to complete the questions. Five minutes, starting now, comenzando right now. Hello, Erika. What? No, I have here Erika Gutierrez. Erika Gutierrez. Sorry, Erika Polanco. Hello. Hello, welcome. Erika, estamos completando ahorita los exercises que mandé en WhatsApp. Tiene que encontrar la right word, la palabra correcta, to complete the questions, para completar las questions. ¿Ok? Eh, 
It's clear. Ana Ruth, Erika, estamos clear con la activity. Podrías repetirlo, porfa, es que acabo de entrar. Okay. Okay, yes. Ana Ruth. Okay. In the chat, in the WhatsApp group, mandé una picture. Tienen que encontrar la palabra correcta que complemente las questions. Tenemos ahí unas words en un box, unas eh, palabras en un cuadrito. So you have to you have to find the right word que complemente las questions. Por ejemplo, la number one es what. What is the most interesting city to visit in your country? ¿Estamos clear? Yes. Ok. Tienen five minutes para hacer eso. Five. Hello, Lupita. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. We are working, Lupita, in an exercise that I sent in WhatsApp. Estamos trabajando en el exercise que envía al WhatsApp. You have to identify the right word to complete the questions. Elija la right word que está en el box, de los, en el box, and complete the questions. ¿Estamos? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Mister. Tell Ahí me. dice eh, what y dice por cuatro. Este día que la podemos ocupar cuatro veces. Yes. Si no la puede, si, si usted cree, porque ahí hay más, más abajo, más questions, pero yo solo les dije 12. Entonces, si hay alguna que no va a what, entonces no, ¿verdad? Pero sí, okay. puede utilizarla más de una vez. Ok, thank you. Finish? No yet? Finalizamos? Hello? Mande? Okay. okay, one more minute. Okay. Finish, guys. Finish. Okay. 
tell me, what is the number two, Leah? What do you have in number, number two? How? Read it complete, Leah, complete. How do you prefer to travel by car, drive, bus, or plane? Very good, great. Alma, what do you have in the number three? ¿Qué tiene la number three? Uh, did. Read it complete, complete, Leala. Uh, did you speak English to people or on your last holiday? Very good. Carlos, number four. Number four. Mm -hmm. No la he hecho, mister. Me, mis. Ana, number four. How many? How many? Someone who has it different? Alguien que la tenga different? What? What? Exactly. What souvenirs what? do you usually buy people? Exactly. What? I guess what? Number five. Eh, Lupita. Lupita. Who? Cool. Pero no la puedo ver, teacher, porque no la he escrito. Where, teacher? Where, yes, where. Lupita, la, la imagen está en WhatsApp. Es where, sí. Can you read it complete, please? Where? Where is your favorite place? To go on holiday. Very good. Eh, Erika Gutierrez, number six. Erika July. Gutierrez. Mm -hmm. What you like? What you like? Mm. Someone has it different? Do you like? Do you like? Somebody else has a different? Alguien más la tiene different? It's wool. Mande? Wool. Would you like to take a cruise? Would you like? Te gustaría. Number seven, everybody. ¿Qué tienen en la number seven? Have. Did. Did so you write? Is it different? Do How? 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 Do. I have did. Did you write out a list of things to pack when you go on holiday? It's do. Do you write out a list of things to pack when you go okay. on holidays? Cuando vas, yes. It's present. Do. Number eight, what do you have? Number eight. This how. How. Someone has a different? Yeah. Someone have. has a different? Have, have you, ever, yes, have you have. ever been in a difficult situation while traveling? Exactly, have. Number nine. What? What? Exactly. Read it complete, please. Uh, what do you do? Prepare for a holiday. Very good. Number 10. Do. Do. Very good. Read it complete, please. 
do you like to try local dishes or do you stick to international food? Okay, very good. Number 11. How far? Exactly. Read it complete, please. How far in advance do you like to plan your holidays? Very good. And the number 12? How many? Exactly. Read it complete. How many times have you traveled abroad? Abroad. Very good. Now, Alma, ask whatever question. Hágale cualquiera de las questions a uno de sus classmates. Whatever question. Mm. Did you speak English to people or on your last holiday? Who is the question for? Para quien va la question? Eh, mm, Carlos Salinas. Carlos? Yes. ¿Cuál fue? Can you repeat, Alma, please? Eh, did you speak English to people on your last holiday? Hablo English con alguna persona en su last holiday? En el último holiday? Uh, no. Okay. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. Carlos, ask one question to one of your classmates. Hágale una question. Okay. Teacher. ¿Mande? Disculpen que interrumpa. A mí me queda la duda porque no es do, sino porque es would. No podría ser do you like to take a cruise? En vez de would you like to take a cruise? No. Would you like porque te gustaría. ¿Te gustaría tomar un crucero? Ah, uh, ok. Y, y si digo do you like to take a cruise, eh... Tú te gusta tomar un crucero. Y ese would you like te gustaría. Ok, gracias. Ajá, si fuera, si fuera con el do, sería do you take, do you take a cruise? Y no diría ese like. Thank you. Ok. Carlos. Yes. Ask one question. Hágale una question to whatever classmate, a cualquier classmate. Ok, sería para, para Alma. Ok. Miss, Miss, en la, en nine es what, ¿verdad? And the number? Eh, nine. Yeah, nine. es what. What do you do prepare for a holiday? Um... On holiday, I prepare chicken or meat for my family. Okay, very good, Alma. Leah, ask one question to one of your classmates. Okay, I can see the names. I can see the names. Uh, well, we have here Erika, Lupita. L? Or Who is L? L. Erika Polanco. <laughs> okay. Would you like to take a cruise? Would you like er to take a cruise? Erika Polanco? Erika? Yes, I didn't. Yes, I would like. I would like. Okay, very good. Any question until here? Hay alguna question hasta aquí? No questions? Okay. Now, let's move on to one exercise from the platform. Okay. We are in unit three. 
and let's see this. Hold on. Okay, guys, let's listen and then we are going to practice. Vacation at last. I'm going to the beach every day. Me too. But, but what? What's the matter? First, I'm going to go shopping. Shopping? Yeah, I forgot to bring my swimsuit. Okay. Can you tell me what did the woman forgot? What did the woman forgot? ¿Qué es lo que ella forgot? His swimsuit. Okay, her swimsuit. Very good. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Let's listen one more time and then we are going to answer questions. Sé que probablemente ya lo hicieron, but let's try to repeat again. Vacation at last. I'm going to the beach every day. Me too. But, but what? What's the matter? First, I'm going to go shopping. Shopping? Yeah, I forgot to bring my swimsuit. Okay. When does this conversation most likely take pay place? I'm sorry. When? As boarding a plane? While they are sightseeing? While the speakers are ordering food? or at the start of the speaker's vacation? While the speaker are sighting? Sightseeing. No. What is sightseeing? Do you know what is the meaning of sightseeing? What is the meaning of sightseeing? Pasear. Ajá, como andar vitrineando. Eso es sightseeing. And number no. four, and dancing. Number four. Yes, at the start of the speaker vacation. The speakers are probably travel agents, friends, journalists, or pilots. Friends. Friends. Okay. What are the speakers discussing, guys? What are they discussing? Any volunteer who tell me? Number one. Okay. Just Carlos is participating, ladies. What is the second speaker's problem, guys? Number three. And number three. Okay, and the last one. Where will the speaker probably go next? Number two. Number one. Let's try with the number two. No, number two. Let's see number one. Yes, the mall. Because remember, she's going to buy a swimsuit. Ella va a comprar un swimsuit. Okay. Great. Now, listen, guys. I have a problem right now. Listen, I have a problem. I don't have money. And for these coming holidays, I want to go to Roatan. What should I do? Listen again. I don't have money. And for these coming holidays, I want to travel to Roatan. What should I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer? If I don't have Money. I don't have money and I want to travel. 
What should I do? Stay at home. <laughs> you should stay at home, okay. Somebody else? Another advice? Que me den? Yes? So, so, and go. Can you repeat? So, say and then go. Okay. Somebody else? Another advice? Repeat, teacher, please. Okay. This is the problem. I want to travel to Roatan. Esto es coming holidays. But I don't have money. What should I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer? What should I do? Cancel to, to cancel to vacation. The vacation. You should, you should cancel your vacation. You should. Aha. Uh -huh. Somebody else? You should wait until your honeymoon. <laughs> Somebody else? <laughs> Any other? Reservación, cancelar el ticket de avión en la agencia de viajes. <laughs> okay, you should cancel. You should cancel your travel. Somebody else? Ask for a loan. You should. You should ask. You should ask for a loan. Okay, un préstamo. Very good, great. Now, I will teach you the use of should. Les voy a enseñar el uso de should. No es cierto lo que les dije. <laughs> Era solo un example. <laughs> Va. Hold on. Let me share here. Voy a compartir acá. ¿Saben ustedes cuál es el uso de should y shouldn't? No. Para dar consejos. Para dar consejos, exactly. Como debería. ¿no? Ajá, Ay, deberías, sí. exactly, deberías. Should and shouldn't son modal verbs. Digamos, should, should. should. Ahora, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Okay, very good. Any volunteer can me ayude a leer? Any volunteer? Uh, an opinion you give someone about about what they what they should do. Okay, an opinion. Very good. Another volunteer? Any other volunteer who helped me to read? Use? You saw May I? Help. Give okay. Mm -hmm. Advice or say what you think is the right thing to do. Okay. To give an advice, somebody. And this is the instructor. We use the subject pronoun should, que es el afirmative, or shouldn't, plus the verb in the infinitive without to. ¿Cómo así? You should, we, you should wear a suit to the interview. 
Tenemos el subject, shoe, el verb sin el to, sin la particle to. A suite to the interview. This is the structure. Repeat. El subject, should or shouldn't, plus el verb, más el verbo. Without the infinitive to, sin la infinitive to. Any question? Is this clear? It's clear. What about the rest? It's clear. Okay. Look, you shouldn't drink coffee in the evening. Till keep you awake. So you shouldn't drink coffee because you will stay awake. Any other volunteer? Who helped me to read? We, we often, I think so. I don't think you show. Okay, thank you. Utilizamos el I think or el I don't think. I think you show sería para las afirmatives. Y el I don't think you show sería para las negatives. Comúnmente es show, afirmative, shouldn't, negative, ¿verdad? Ahora, si yo quiero decir, yo creo o yo pienso que deberías o yo pienso que no deberías, podemos utilizar este think. I think you should y I don't think you should. Por ejemplo, I think you should change your job. I don't think you should speak to her. Is clear this? Clear, teacher. Clear? Clear. Clear. Okay. Any question? Hasta acá? Va. Now. It's your turn. I want that you say advice. This is the first problem. I have problems going to sleep at night. What should I do? Hold on. Wait a second. Okay, here we go. Again. Aquí es shoe. What should I do? I have problems going to sleep at night. What should I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer? Give me an advice. You should drink a tea. Okay, very good. Any other advice? Tengo problems to sleep. At night. Aparte de drink a tea. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, when you use should and when you use shall. Shouldn't. No, shall. What shall? What shall I do? Shall. What shall I do? Okay. Sure. This is like, the, is the same. This is the same. ¿Qué debo de hacer? You should, but this is like more informal. This is más un poquito más informal. The correct form is should. Uh -huh. This is more informal. It's the same, Thank but you. it's informal. Anytime. Thank you. Um, en el show es más cuando se practica con amigos más informal que en una situación como laboral. No. El show. What shall I do? Este show es más informal, es más con friends. Con amigos. Yes. El show es more formal. Por ejemplo, with your boss o con una person que probablemente no conozca. El show. Show informal, show formal. Okay. 
Ok, teacher. Quiero un advice más para my problems to sleep at night. In negative? Yes. Ok. You decide. Do you shouldn't drink coffee? Ok. I don't think, sería, I don't think. I don't think. Bye. Do that. Una de las dos, o una de las dos es, I don't think you should, or you shouldn't. Cualquiera de las dos. Can you repeat again? You shouldn't, or I don't think you should. Drink coffee. Okay. Very good. Listen, my other problem. My neighbor's dogs bark all the time and it's driving me crazy. Me está volviendo crazy que los dogs están barking all the time. What shall I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer? You should talk with the owners. Okay, I should talk with the owners. Somebody else? No? Okay, acá tenemos otro problem que dice, my children want a dog, but my wife is allergic to animals. What should I do? ¿Qué se debe de hacer acá? Si los children quieren un dog y la wife es allergic to animals, ¿qué debe de hacer ahí el husband? He, he don't, don't show animals. He, okay, he shouldn't it shouldn't animal have have animals he shouldn't have animal okay another example another advice i think sure speak with all okay very good and the last one dice, I don't know, I don't know how to study at home with our teacher. What should I do? Si yo quiero study, pero I don't know how with our teacher. No sé cómo sin una teacher. What should I do? Can you tell me? You should read an English article or a book. Okay, very good, thank you. Another volunteer? You should go to the academy or a school. I should go. Okay, very good. Great, any question? I have a question. Questions until here? No questions. Okay. Now, I want that you write down in your notebook, escriban en su notebook, two more examples. Una con show y una con shouldn't. Puede ser about whatever thing. Vamos, hagámoslo. One example with show and another example with shouldn't. It's clear? Estamos clear? Yes, we are. Monday? 
No, it's okay. Okay. Sería una y una o dos y dos. One and one, una y una. Okay. Finish? Yes. Okay. Read yours. Activate your camera. Hoy sí, ya vamos a empezar. Activating cameras when reading the example. Okay. And number one, I should study for my English exam that we will do tom tomorrow. And number two, I seldom drink a lot of soda because it affects my bones. Okay, very good, Carlos. Great. Erika Polanco? Todavía no estoy lista, teacher. Okay, Lupita? Yes. Okay. Cameras on and read your sentences. I saw two of the light. Okay. You should have finished by now. Okay. You should. Very good. Great, Lupita. Leah, ready? Yeah. Okay. I should study English every day. And I shouldn't eat a lot of dessert because I'm fat. <laughs> okay. Remember, camera is not when you participate. Sorry, Great, but my Leah. husband has the camera. Um, okay. Okay, sorry. Erika Gutierrez, don't worry. Erika Gutierrez. A short. Do not spend too much money. Solo un hecho. Okay. You shouldn't spend too much money. Uh -huh. Okay, Erika. Moises, cameras on and read your two sentences. Okay. Ahorita, no. Uh, uh, number one, we should study more for the exam. Uh, number two, he shouldn't drink beer because it hurts. Okay, very good, Mr. Alma. Um, I shouldn't buy an old car, and, mm -hmm. and I should practice my English in different ways. Very good, great. Hoy sí, Erika Polanco, ready? Good. Okay, go. I think should. Eat many vegetables. I think shouldn't drive more. Okay, very good. Great. Now let's practice in the platform. Vamos a darle un practice a la platform. But let's listen this and then we are going to complete uh, examples. Where's your brother? Didn't you wait for him? You should always wait for him after school. Don't worry, Mom. 
He was right behind me. He should be here any minute. Okay. Doctor, I'm always so tired. What is the correct word to complete this space? You should get at least eight hours to, of sleep a night. Let's check. Okay, very good. Next. Algun volunteer who help me? I teach it. Okay. It's, How was? It was wonderful. Ah, uh, uh, okay. How was the exhibition of the museum? Museum. It was. Uh, it was wonderful. You should children miss it. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't miss it. Shouldn't miss it. Okay. Great. Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Aye. Okay. Hey, I can learn the whole completa. Yeah. I think the government should government? make... Come? Government. Government. I think the government to make the factories stop uh, polluting the air and, and weather. Okay. Polluting the air and water. Very good. Any other volunteer? Another volunteer? Hi, teacher. Okay. The lawyer told his client that. I didn't just want to look at that. He shouldered the tool. He shouldered. Who shouldered? He should. He should. There, the truth. Tell. Tell. Tell the truth. Y acá es lawyer. 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 Y acá es client. 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 Okay. okay. And let's Thanks. see the last one. Esta es la última. I recommend. Algún volunteer? I recommend the new Italian restaurant you two three is the food is delicious. Okay, very good. Any question? Tienen alguna question? Not this Bye. We are talking about vacations, but estamos talking about vacations. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer right now? You are going to write five sentences. The first sentence, ustedes tienen que recomendar un lugar in El Salvador. You should recommend a place in El Salvador to visit in estas coming vacations. La primera. Las otras cuatro, ¿qué deberían de hacer? in this place. Estamos clear? First, you should recommend one place to visit this coming vacation, en estas coming vacations, o sea, in Holy Week. Y las otras four, what should people do? ¿Qué es lo que pueden hacer? ¿Qué deberían de hacer las personas ahí? It's clear? Lo primero vamos a hacer La primera es el lugar que van a recomendar. La primera. Ajá. 
las otras cuatro, ¿qué deberían de hacer en este lugar que ya recomendaron? Ok. Thank you, Miss. Ok. Tenemos tres minutos para hacerla. ¿Alguna question? Ok, so continue. Teacher de eh, cualquier parte del mundo o El Salvador. El Salvador, from El Salvador. Hoy sí, from El Salvador. Ah, ok, está Debe bien. Ser específico. Yes. Finish. No yet. No yet. Okay. Finish. Okay, let's start. Lia, can you read your sentences? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should visit the Hotel Esencia Nativa in Osonte Beach. You should have breakfast at the hotel. You should take a bath in the beach. You should take a walk around the hotel. And you should see the surface, the surfers. Surfers. Very good. Great job, Leah. Erika Gutierrez, ready? Erika. Erika Polanco. Finish. Ok, mister. Erika Polanco, ready? Um, un poquito. Ok. Um, I think... Um, I think the tourists should visit the mountain. Today should go camping. Mm -hmm. 
they sh they should la hike. Um, they should go to the forest and watch the bear. Hasta ahí lo he hecho. That's it. Okay, very good. Carlos? Mm, yes. Read yours? Mm, yes. Um, I recommend that you visit Epital, which is located on the border between El Salvador and Honduras. The visitor must do the following. Uh, they show it in the delicious restaurant of the place. You should take photos uh, of the beautiful scenery. Uh, they should go to the points where the border meet and finally the should while the uh, woods. Okay, finally. Very good, Mr. Carlos. Lupita? I show the common place to concert park. You can go to the beach and enjoy good food. I have a good time with your family and uh, have a great time. Okay. Alma? For next vacation, you should you should go to visit San Salvador Volcano. Uh, you should work and make a lot of pictures. And you should breathe, breathe fresh air. Uh, breathe. You should breathe. Breathe. Breathe air. Fresh you air. Fresh air. <laughs> You should go with your family and you shouldn't go alone. Very good. Moises? Okay. okay. Uh, in this vacation, I recommended that a uh, go visit the El Mahawal Beach because because you can practice sport in the sand see the beautiful sunset you can but free of stone there are a variety of hotels that offer delicious self for food seafood mm -hmm. seafood Okay, that's it. Very good. And finally, Erika Gutierrez, do you finish? No. Okay, guys. Listen. Come, yeah? okay. come to El Salvador, visit Redditing Planets in Hoy Cool World in a uh, in Enjoy with your family, eh, deliciosas pupusas. Okay, delicious pupusas. Now, listen, vamos a jugar un game. Les voy a enviar el link al WhatsApp group. Y les, y les explico lo que vamos a hacer en este game. ¿Tienen alguna question antes de, antes de jugar? No questions. Ok. Listen. Click on the link. Denle click al link. 
y le escriben su username, su name. Eso es lo que les va a aparecer. Acá. Ok, Carlos está in. Eh, Lupita. ¿Todos ingresamos ya? Ustedes se pueden mover, miren. Si ustedes mueven su teclado, ustedes se pueden mover, miren. Can you do it? Yo no me puedo mover, teacher. ¿Ande? Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Les voy a explicar. Acá, cuando yo inicie el juego, en la parte superior izquierda, acá donde tengo el puntero, les va a salir algo que dice eh, answer questions, contestar preguntas. Ustedes le dan clic ahí, contestan preguntas y ustedes ganan puntitos. Con esos puntitos, ustedes pueden hacer snowballs, pueden hacer eh, co copitas de nieve y ustedes deciden a quién le van a tirar esas copitas. Cuando ustedes le, le pegan a uno de sus compañeros, ellos pierden puntos. ¿Estamos? Acá, acá tenemos. Pregunta. Le dan acá. Teacher. Vale. Pero yo puedo estar ah. moviéndome con el cursor. Puedo estar moviéndome sí, con el cursor sí. para que no me den. Ah, ok. Exacto. Usted tiene que correr para que no le den. Vale. Así nos va a aparecer, miren. Nos va a aparecer acá donde dice answer questions, acá, así como está acá. Ustedes van a darle ahí y luego acá van a hacer sus copitas de nieve, sus snowballs. Y luego ustedes van a elegir a quién golpear. Acá tenemos la parte que dice refill. Ustedes pueden refilar ahí sus, sus, sus copitos de nieve. Y luego clic to launch snowball. Le dan clic para golpear a su compañero. Si los golpean, pueda que ustedes queden frozen, que queden congelados por un momento. No quiere decir que se les ha desconectado, sino que se congelan cuando sus compañeros lo golpean. ¿Estamos? ¿Estamos claros? Yes. So, so. Va, vamos a ver. Vamos a iniciar. Hoy sí, acá les aparece answer question. Ustedes le dan. Ese es about should and shouldn't. Yo contesto la mía. Y yo puedo decidir a quién le voy a pegar. Pero como yo no estoy jugando, you can do it. ¿Y qué se hicieron todos? Estamos comprendiendo el game. Pero yo aquí con el teléfono creo que no, no voy a poder. No va a poder. Yes, you can. Por acá me encuentro Moisés. Y yo acá a punto, miren. Y yo golpeo a Moisés. Y yo golpeé a Moisés. Me dio teacher. No me pude mover. mover. Los demás, ¿cómo vamos? Acá, ah, aquí está Moisés noqueado. Sí, continúe Moisés. Y las demás que se han hecho. Aquí, aquí viene Lupita. Voy Lupita. Voy Lupita. Estamos contestando las preguntas, ¿verdad? Uy. 
estamos contestando, yes. No. No, yo no. No preguntas ni nada. Aquí en, el, en la parte de abajito, acá en la parte superior, answer questions le va a aparecer. ¿Hoy sí? No. Nada de nada. ¿Qué está utilizando su teléfono? El teléfono, nada más. Sí, pero en la parte de abajo le tiene que aparecer como un botoncito azul. No. Refila para refilar la, el copito de nieve. Ahí está Lupita ya. Uy. Un minuto más y finaliza el game. Y los demás, Erika, Erika Polanco, Erika Gutiérrez. ¿Estamos contestando las preguntas? Pues no, porque no las puedo ver, Tiche. Yo contestando. Vamos a ver. No veo las preguntas. En la parte de abajo. O acá, miren, acá les aparece algo que dice home. Ay. No, no le aparecieron las preguntas. Yo contesté unas preguntas, teacher, pero no pude moverme ni tirar bolitas. Okay, very good. Sí, yo soy igual, solo contesté. Solo contestó. Ok, no pudo, no pudo voltear a nadie. Great. How was it? Was it easy? ¿Estuvo easy? ¿Quién no pudo participar? Que no veía las, las questions. Yo sí, yo sí me desquité. <laughs> Erika Polanco creo que no pudo participar, right? Yes, I think. And she's not here now. But let's continue. ¿Hay alguna question hasta aquí? No questions? No questions. Okay. No, miss. Listen. Vamos a escribir right now three things you should do before leave home. Tres cosas que deben de hacer antes de salir de casa. Se lo voy a mandar al, al group mejor para que las tengamos ahí. Al WhatsApp group. Ok. Ahí está. Three things you should do before leave home 
Antes de salir de casa, ¿cuál es la number two? Three things. ¿Cómo dice la number two? Three things. You shouldn't do on vacations. Okay, number three. Three things you should do in class. In number four. Thing you should not while shopping. Okay, very good. Three things you shouldn't do when shopping. Les voy a dar five minutes para que puedan escribir the sentences. Tres cosas que deben de hacer antes de salir de casa. Tres cosas que no deben de hacer en vacations. Tres cosas que ustedes deben de hacer en class. And three things you shouldn't do when shopping. No deben de hacer cuando están shopping. Please, use the structure. Utilicemos la structure. El subject, should o shouldn't. El verb y el complement. Hagámoslo. Five minutes. And your time starts now. ¿Hay alguna question sobre la activity? No questions? I suppose there is no question. Three more minutes. One more minute.
Okay, time is over. Any volunteer who wants to start? Algún volunteer? Okay, I will select. Leah, do you want to participate? Yeah. Okay, Leah. Yeah. Go. What, what about the, the, the first one? Okay, tell you... me. Oh, okay. Tell me about, Leah, three things you shouldn't do on vacations. Last three things you shouldn't do on vacations. I shouldn't eat seafood. I shouldn't walk in lonely places. I shouldn't drive fast. Okay, thank you, Leah. Now, tell me, Leah, three things you should do before leave home. No, I should cook the lunch early. I should clean the garage and I should take a bath. <laughs> Okay, very good, great. Carlos, now your turn, Carlos. Tell me, Carlos, three things you should do in class. Okay, me escucha? Yep. In class, uh, we must pay attention, help the we teacher should. in class. Okay. Oh. We should, we should, we pay, should attention. pay attention, help the teacher in class and do and do our homework. And we should do our homework, okay. With the instructor. Ahora, Carlos, tell me three things you shouldn't do when shopping. Eso estaba terminando de hacer. Okay, Moises, tell me, Moises, three things you shouldn't do on vacations. Las que usted tiene. Okay, uh, I I shouldn't stay at home. Uh, I shouldn't uh, leave. I shouldn't drink beer. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't uh, go go so far. Okay. Lupita, tell me, Lupita, three things you shouldn't do when shopping. I'm shopping. I should not forget my shopping list. I should not buy unnecessary. I should bring the money to shop. Okay, very good, thank you. Um, let's see, Alma. Tell me, Alma, three things you should do in class. Mm. I should participate in class. I should do my homework and I should connect on time. Very good. Erika Gutierrez, tell me three things you shouldn't do on vacation. Erika? I have to leave the device disconnected at home. Okay. Solo una había hecho. Just one. Okay. Very good, Erika. Great. ¿Hay alguna question acerca del uso de should y shouldn't? No questions? No, no questions. Okay. Now, les voy a 
enseñar el uso de los infinitives después de los verbs. The use of infinitives after verbs. ¿Saben qué son los infinitives? ¿Cuáles son infinitives? Eh, el verbo sin conjugar. El verbo sin conjugar. Ok. Let's see. Les muestro acá. ¿Alguien más? Sí, Lupita. Uh, lleva ING. ING. ¿Los infinitives o los gerunds? ¿Cuál lleva ING? ¿Los infinitives o los gerunds? Los gerunds. Los gerunds. Los gerunds llevan el ING. Los infinitives son los que llevan el TO. TO. Mm -hmm. I want to learn English. I listen to music. TO. Bye. Let's see here. Look. What the students are thinking. Lo que ustedes están thinking right now. I want to learn. I hope to succeed. I plan to get, a, to, get to class on time. These are just examples of what students are thinking. ¿Qué es succeed in Spanish? What is the meaning of succeed? Éxito. Ajá. I hope to succeed, espero tener éxito. Great. Now, look. I refuse to give up. To give up. Ese to give up es el infinitive. I try to get only A grades. And I promise to study hard, too. Todos son algunos examples. Ya les explico. Okay. Acá tenemos la form. An infinitive is two plus base form of the verb. El infinitivo es cuando, forma, cuando tenemos la, la, palabra, la palabrita two más el verbo en su forma base. From the negative, by placing not <coughs> before the infinitive. Cuando son negatives, ponemos el not antes del infinitive. Acá tenemos. I decide to study English this year. Estas son affirmatives. Y con el not en la negative form, I decided not to study chemistry this year. Now, tenemos infinitives después de verbs. ¿Cómo así? Certain verbs can be followed by an infinitive. Tenemos specific verbs que se necesita un infinitivo después de ese verbo. Por ejemplo, ask, advise, Tell and want. Ahora, este, estos examples que están aquí, tenemos, si ustedes observan, dos verbos, right? I want to get a good grade in my English class. Este to get, o sea, tenemos dos verbs. ¿Qué me está diciendo la regla? Que cuando utilizo el want, por obligación, tengo que poner un infinitive. I want to. To. I want to study, I want to dance, I want to sleep. ¿Estamos? ¿Es clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Answer. And here we have told. I told her to go to bed. After tall, we need to use an infinitive to. Después del verb tall, o sea, ya sea en el present o en past. Got it? Any question? It's clear. And the rest? Teacher. Mandy. Entonces, no, todo, no todos los verbos se pueden usar en infinitivo. 
not all. I mean, podemos utilizar, pero después de estos verbos en específico, ask, advise, tell and want, yo necesito un infinitive después de esos verbos. I oh, want to get, okay. o sea, necesito otro verbo, pues. I want uh -huh. to, I want to rest, I want to travel. Necesito otro verbo después de estos verbos, después de ask, advise, tell and want. Entonces, como voy a utilizar otro verbo, necesito el infinitivo. ¿Got it? Ok, I got it. Any other question? No questions? Ok. Some verbs can be followed directly by an infinitive. Look, I have here begin. ¿Cuál es el siguiente? Can you read it? Buscar. Ok. Fail. Fail. Learn. 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 Play. Learn. Play. Promise. 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 Refuse. Sin. 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 Try. Try. Ok. Estos verbs también pueden ser utilizados with infinitives. También pueden ser utilizados. He's learning to spell correctly. He refuses to be uncomfortable when studying. So, yo puedo utilizar también infinitives después de esos verbs. ¿Qué necesito acá? Memorize them, memorizármelos. ¿Ok? ¿Any question until here? ¿No questions? Bye. Give me one example with one of these verbs. Dígame one example. I decided to learn English. Me, my example. Can you tell me more? I had to go to sleep. Can you repeat again? I have to go to sleep. Okay. Very good. Any other? I told him to go eat. I told him to go eating, sería ahí. To go eating. Okay. Any other example? I promise to improve my English. Very good. Great. Okay. Now, this is the last one that I will show you. Tenemos acá some verbs that need an object. Algunos verbs necesitan un object or un pronoun before the infinitive, antes del infinitive. Como por ejemplo, estos verbs, advice, allow, encourage, force, invite, remind, tell, and want. Our teacher advises them to take notes. Acá, tenemos un object pronoun. She doesn't allow students to do their homework. ¿Qué es el object pronoun? Puede ser un noun o un pronoun. Otro ejemplo. The teacher allows Moisés to get late to the class. Allow, permitir. The teacher allowed Moisés to get late into the class. De entrar late a la clase. Le permitió, le permite. Can you give me another example? Another. I invite Leah to the mall. 
I invite Leah to the move. O sea, después de esto, verbo, yo necesito un nombre o un pronombre. Can you give me more examples? ¿Qué significa encourage? Motivar. Ok. Force. Fuerza. No. Como forzar. Forzar. Uh -huh. Remind. Recordar, ¿no? Ok. ¿Va? Ok. Give me one example. Dígame un example. I have to remind remind my son. I have to remind my son about his homework. Okay, very good. Any other example? Any other example? No. Other example? Uh, my friend told, told us to play football with it together. Okay. My friend told, told us to play football together. Okay. Very good. Hay alguna question acerca del use de los infinitives? Después de verbs? Tenemos different verbs where the infinitive is needed, donde se necesitan infinitives como ask, advise, tell, and want. And there are others that also can use infinitives. Hay otros que también pueden utilizar infinitives como begin, decide, fail, learn, plan, promise, refuse, seem, and try. ¿Hay alguna question? O sea, después de estos verbos, puedo utilizar otro verbo, pero utilizando un infinitivo. Así en resumido. Any questions? No questions? Se pueden usar en pasado. Sí, se pueden utilizar en pasado. Present and past. Future too. Any other question? Hay más questions? Okay, nos vamos a la practice. Tell me, what word complete this sentence? What word completes the sentence? To do well. Can you read it complete? The teacher expected everyone to do well on the test because it was so easy. Okay, very good, Moises. Leah. Yeah. Next, Leah. <clears throat> this one is for you. The airline offered to pay for our hotel room because they had to cancel our, our flight. Very good, Leah. Erika Gutierrez. 
This is yours. Erika. Here, um, Carlos, this doesn't. She doesn't look very safe. I, I prefer to go back to camp. Prefer. Tenemos uno de los verbs. Oops. Okay, great. Next, Lupita. Okay. Catherine plans to study French and German in school. She wants um, to be an international secretary. Great. Si observan, tenemos plan, tenemos want. So, después de esos verbs, se necesita un infinity. Vamos a ver Alma. The last. Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Lawrence had a nice time on his trip to Rome, but he said he doesn't want to go back there again. Okay, very good. ¿Alguna question acerca del use de los infinitives después de los verbs? No. No question, please. No, miss. Okay. No more questions. Very good. Now, la última structure. Los gerunds después de los verbs. El día de mañana voy a eh, reforzar una estructura que alguien me pidió. Que lo hiciera. Mañana lo voy a hacer. No me recuerdo quién, pero si sí alguien me, me dijo que, que reforzar un structure. Mañana. Vale. Ese es el gerund. Los gerunds son los verbs que llevan el ing, ¿verdad? Ahora, tenemos algunos gerunds después de algunos verbs. ¿Alguien que me ayude a leer? ¿Yours? ¿Can you help me? ¿One volunteer? Hi, teacher. Gerunds are used as the object of most trans transitive verbs. Instead of a noun, or pronoun. In some case, an object verb takes the infinitive form, but normal, normally it is gerum. Note that a gerum can also follow B. Okay, gerums también pueden ser followed by the verb B. Tenemos el subject, el verb, más el gerum. I mean, lo que les decía, cuando vamos a utilizar otro verb, también podemos utilizar un gerund. Ahora, ¿cuándo no vamos a utilizar un gerund y un infinitivo? Y un infinitivo sí, el infinitivo lo vamos a utilizar con los verbs que yo ya les mencioné antes, el, el infinity. Los gerunds se utilizan más con verbos transitivos. ¿Qué son verbos transitivos? What are transitive verbs, ¿saben? B. 
Verbos transitivos son todos aquellos que no requieren de una acción. Admire, avoid, enjoy, finish, imagine. O sea, ellos no requieren de, de un movimiento, pues, de una acción. Esos son los transitive verbs. Y tenemos acá algunos examples. I avoid arguing with my boss. I imagine eating snails. I imagined you finishing the platform. Can you give me more examples? Pueden darme más examples? Yes. ¿Estamos clear con esto? Hello. Hello. No me dejen sola. Can you give me another example, please? Eh, I teacher. Okay. Eh, we enjoy learning with you. Okay, very good. Any other example, guys? Um, working is good for your health. Can you repeat, please? Walking is good for your health. Walking is good for your health. Ok, en ese case, el gerund me está sirviendo como un subject. Walking, ahí no es como verb, es como un subject. Recuerden, ah. puedo utilizar un gerund, o sea, puedo utilizar un verbo y después un gerund cuando el verbo que estoy utilizando es un verbo transitivo, que no requiere acción. Ahí puedo utilizar un gerund con verbos transitivos. I finish eh, eating pupusas. O I imagine eh, walking in the street. O, I mean, imagine es el verbo transitivo, ¿verdad? Aunque el siguiente verb eh, sea de acción. Pero el, el verbo principal es el transitivo en este caso. Me imaginé, disfruté o disfruto, ¿verdad? Depende del tiempo. Any other example, please? We, we enjoy working every afternoon. Okay. Very good. Alma. Mm, I avoid eating a lot. Great. Uh, Lia. They <coughs> are playing in the park. Okay, Lupita. Here, Erika Gutierrez. You, you are working very hard. You are working. You are working very hard, yes. Sí, podría ser. Estás, sí. It can be. Any other? Erika Gutierrez? Con tin, 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 eh, pensar se puede utilizar, va. Thinking, yes. I think.
step. No. Okay. So I think we are on the time. Ya estamos en el time. Do you have questions? ¿Será que tienen questions? Or no questions? Teacher, eh, es, 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 estos verbos transitivos igual los tendremos que memorizar o, o tendríamos que investigar. ¿Cómo va a reconocer usted un verbo transitivo? Usted reconoce un verbo transitivo porque no demuestra acción. O sea, si yo digo caminar, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Walk, caminar. Pero si yo digo imaginar, o, o sea, no requiere de acción, solo imagino, ¿verdad? Así es como usted lo va a reconocer. El transitivo del action verb. Ah, ok. Thanks. Ok. ¿Alguna otra question? No. Yes. Ok. Maybe you are sleepy, right? So I think it is the time. Um, thanks for joining today's session. Y no sé si alguno de ustedes ha tenido problemas para realizar el midterm. ¿Todos lo realizaron ya? Eh, teacher, um, yo claro. eso estoy. Ahorita después de la sesión me voy a conectar a, para realizarlo. Para realizar el test. Ok. ¿Alguien más? ¿Ya lo realizaron todos? Sí. Yeah. Don. Done. Done. Okay, very good. So thanks for joining to this session and I hope to see you tomorrow. Recuerden que mañana tenemos la última tutoría de este módulo, okay? A la misma hora de 7 a 9 p.m. Get it? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, guys. And Thank I hope teacher. to see you tomorrow. Thank good you. Night. Too. Good, good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.